What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to round decimals. Now, first thing I want to point out is a rule for you. And it's this rule right here. I suggest writing it down if it's hard to remember. But this basically tells us how rounding works, okay? And I'll also just uh, split these in two different parts. So the rule for rounding, which is going to seem kind of arbitrary right now, but it's going to make sense in a second. If your number is five or more, so five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to round up. If your number is four or less, so four, three, two, one, or zero, your number is going to stay the same. All right. What does that even mean? So let me show you. So for example, let's say our problem here was asking round to the nearest tenth. Well, first of all, where's the tenth spot here? Well, let's see. This is the ones spot. This is the tenth spot, right? Well, since we're rounding to the tenths place, that means this number right here, the four, is either going to stay as a four or we're going to round it up one number to five. How do we know if it's going to stay as four or if we have to round it up to five? We have to look at the number next to it, which is in the hundreds, right? How does it tell us that? Well, again, that's where this rule comes into play. So what number do we have here? We have a two. Is that five or more? Or is it four or less? Well, it'd be four or less, right? Because two is smaller than four. So that means the number we're looking at in the tenths spot is going to stay the same. So this four right here is going to stay as a four. So our answer would be 7.4. And since we're rounding to the tenth spot, that's why we keep the tenth spot, but drop everything that comes after it or at the end of it. All right, let's switch this up a little bit. All right, now let's say we were asked to round to the nearest hundredth. So where is the hundredths place? Well, let's see. This is the ones, the tenths, and then this is the hundredths, right? So if we're going to round to the nearest hundredth, that means this two right here is either going to stay as a two or we're going to round it up to a three. So that means this number next to it, the zero, is going to determine whether it stays the same or if we round it up to a three. So since we have a zero here, what does that apply to? Does that apply to five or more or four or less? Well, again, in this case, it's going to be four or less, right? That means this number right here in the hundredths place is going to stay the same. So now our problem says round to the nearest hundredth. So our answer would be 7.42. All right, let's try another one. All right, in this case, let's say we were asked to round to the nearest thousandth. How would we do that? Well, first we have to locate where the thousandths place is. Okay, so this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So remember, the number that's next to it is going to determine whether the zero stays a zero or if the zero is going to round up to one. So what number is next to it? Well, we have a five right here next to it, right? Now, let's look at our rule over here. Is this going to be five or more or is this four or less? Well, this is five or more, right? Because we have a number five right here. So that means this zero right here, we're going to end up rounding it up one number. So instead of it being a zero, it's going to turn into a one. So your answer would be 7.421. Okay, and remember we drop whatever comes after the thousandths place. So we would drop the five and the nine. Okay. All right, let's do one more example. So you can see kind of a special rule that happens with the number nine. All right, now, as you might be able to see, I switched the two last numbers, okay? So the nine and the five, I switched those two up and you'll see why in a second. Now, our problem says round to the nearest 10,000. So let's locate the 10,000th spot on our number. So this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, right? Okay, so if we want to round to the nearest 10,000th, we have to look at the number next to it, right? And that tells us if this nine, if it's going to stay the same or if we have to round up. Okay, so since we have a five right here, this goes in the 
five or more category, right? So that means we have to round up. But the issue here is this is the number nine, right? That's already the biggest number there is, right? There's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. What's bigger than that? Well, we have to round it up one whole number, right? So we have to round it from nine to 10. But the issue here is I can't just round nine and write a 10 right here, right? So the problem here is that 10 is a two digit number, right? But we can't put two digits on the same place value. That doesn't even make sense. So what do you have to do? What we do is we keep the zero in this spot. And then this one over here, we add it plus one to whatever number is sitting right here. So what our number would actually look like would be 7.4210. And then this would actually be your answer, okay? So if we're rounding to the nearest 10,000th, right? This is the 10,000th spot. And then we got rid of the decimal numbers that come after it, which was this five. Okay, but the main point I want you to understand is whenever you have a nine and you end up having to round it up because of the number that was next to it, it turns into a 10, but it affects two place values, okay? It affects this one that it was in, but also the one that's to the left of it. So just to make sure you understand that point, let me rewrite this number a little differently, okay? So 7.42 and then I'll put six. Nine five. Okay, so again, if we're rounding to the nearest 10,000th, that means this spot right here, this five would make it round up, right? So this nine right here goes away, it turns into a zero, but we also have to add one to whatever number is right here. So six plus one would be seven, right? So again, if I were rounding to the nearest 10,000th, right, the spot right here, my answer would be 7.4270. Alright guys, so that is how you round decimals. I hope the examples were helpful. If they were, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.